Welcome to another life update video and this one is going to be a hybrid life update and get ready with me for work. So as I announced in this video, I went back to pharmacy. So let me show you how I get ready for work and just update you what's going on a little bit. So starting off with skincare, of course, I'm using this V Green toner in the morning. You know, I'm not big on toners, but I have been heavy with retinoids in the evening lately. Lately, so I feel like this toner helps with soothing my skin a little bit so that's why I'm using a toner first and after that of course I'm using vitamin C serum by Medicube my favorite at the moment you have a discount code Danny 10 if you want to check it out you get 10% off when using my code and now let me tell you about the pharmacy store so I finally have colleagues which is amazing and I'm finally speaking German every day which is again amazing so far I'm really happy with how things are going Going. everyone is very nice everyone is trying to speak slowly so that I can understand everything and I'm so far happy with how much I can understand and yes of course I have a lot to learn but so far so good and let me just explain what I'm doing right now I'm doing the face roller massage with this rose quartz face roller you know that I love doing this and this helps with lymphatic drainage of the face and neck and you pretty much look less puffy when when you do this for five minutes so I know it seems like a lot but it only takes five minutes and it's very relaxing and you know it really makes a difference so I always squeeze in if not five then at least four or three minutes in the morning to do this it's very relaxing and it deep buffs my face helps with lymphatic drainage and I look amazing after that so it's a recommendation if you ask me and this was me actually getting ready for work it, I wasn't just filming on a random day I was actually going to work after this so this was really early in the morning I woke up early to film this video so this was actually a real time get ready with me just so you know next up I'm using sunscreen of course and at the moment I'm loving this beauty of Josian sunscreen it's amazing and so lightweight and it sits so nicely on top of this vitamin c serum by Medicube and while I blend out this sunscreen, let me tell you my first impressions of the German pharmacy store. It seems as if Germans have a better organized pharmacy store. I have to say that. It just everything has its place, everything has its protocol. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but for now it seems as if German pharmacy stores are much better organized than Serbian pharmacy stores. Sorry Serbian pharmacy stores, sorry, but I have to say Germans are better organized and yeah, so far so good. I can understand the customers as well. Sometimes they do speak a dialect because here where I live, there is a strong dialect and it's sometimes it is hard to understand for me, but yeah, so far I'm handling it okay. And I'm even learning some dialect words. So, so far so good, I'm not complaining. Okay, so I'm done with blending the sunscreen. Look at the glow that it's giving me, it's amazing. And moving on to makeup. I always do my brows really nicely. I like my brows to be perfect. Um, I'm using this pencil by NYX, but it's all done. And I'm using just this other side, the brush side to brush my eyebrows. And then I'm using this different pencil. This is Fill and Fluff. I actually thought that I was getting the first one. I will put the name in the description box down below. The first one is better, this one I don't like that much but the packaging is so similar that I accidentally ended up buying this fill and fluff or however is it called and I don't like it to be honest don't buy this one buy the first one first one is better and hopefully the next time I will get the right one <laughs> and at the moment of course I'm using this one because I don't want to waste it because it wasn't exactly cheap and anyways I just do the first part of the brows with this pencil and then I use this Urban Decay brow powder to just get a more precise line underneath the brows and then I do clean up with this uh, L'Oreal concealer and that's pretty much it after that I do the complexion and can we just appreciate my hair in this uh, frame please please <laughs> 
Anyways, moving on to complexion, I use this Maybelline foundation that I don't like and I thought it would be radiant and lightweight and skin-like. You know, I wanted something like Bourjois Healthy Mix because I couldn't find it here in Germany and no, this Maybelline foundation is not it. Even though it looks good on camera right now, it just emphasizes the wrinkles. So I'm really putting a small amount because I don't want it to emphasize my wrinkles and dry out my skin. Now, how is a radiant foundation emphasizing the wrinkles. I don't know, Maybelline, please explain that. Yeah, but anyways, I make it work somehow because I paid for it like 15 bucks and I don't want to waste it again. And next up, I'm using this uh, Age Correct Concealer by Maybelline as well. And to be honest, I was using it here just because I was feeling a little bit extra because I was filming, but usually I don't use it every day. I usually just use this foundation as concealer because I want a more lightweight finish. I don't want a kiki finish during the day. You know, I just want a lightweight, fresh face, clean complexion, a little bit of the blush. You will see later on what I mean. And that's pretty much it. And let me show you a hack for no concealer creasing. I'm setting my eyelids and my under eyes with this paper towel. So I'm just, I will blend in the creases first and then I will stamp this on just to blot the eyelid and the under eyes. And this sets the under eyes without them looking cakey. And yes, this does reduce reduce the coverage, but I don't mind it because I avoided the cakey finish that I get when I use the face powder. So this is a win-win situation for me and this is how my complexion is looking in the end. And next up I finish off my makeup with some highlighter, some blush and some mascara. That's pretty much it. I don't do much for every day because I don't want to go too far. You know, it's a pharmacy store. I don't need heavy makeup in the morning. So that's pretty much it. I I usually don't even wear a lipstick or lip liner. I just put lip balm, but today I was being extra because I was filming, so I used this lip liner. The name will be uh, in the description box down below. So in case you're interested in any products, just check out the description box down below. And once I line my lips with this lip liner, I put this Laneige lip sleeping mask on top and it looks just like a lip gloss and it nourishes my lips. So again, it's a win-win situation. It's easy, it's fast it nourishes my lips and it looks natural not too much not too heavy as you can see this is the finished look for the pharmacy store what do you think comment down below would you wear this to your work or not and next up of course i have to fix my hair my hair is not the cleanest here i wash it every three days and this was the third day um since I washed it the last time, so that's why I'm using this dry shampoo. And this one is a uh, care and protect something like that. So it does not damage my hair and it does not make my hair dry. So I like this one. And yeah, I massage it into my scalp like this. And after that, it looks as if I have just washed my hair. So, so it's a nice solution for when your hair is greasy and you don't have time to wash it. But in this case, I wasn't planning on washing my hair. I wash it every third day and that's the rule. And third day I'm using dry shampoo and that's it. I'm not going to wash my hair every second day because whenever I did that, my hair was getting greasier and greasier with every wash. So I'm not going to do that. Um, so anyways, this is the finished look. This is how my hair is looking in the end. Yes, of course it looks better when I wash it, but this is okay as well. And here I was contemplating whether or not these earrings were pharmacy store approved appropriate and now that I'm looking at this footage I would say maybe no but I still decided to wear them because I was feeling extra that day and here I was disinfecting them with this alcohol isopropyl alcohol from the pharmacy store and yeah decided to wear them anyways so let me know what you think is this too much yeah here again I'm contemplating whether or not I should wear them but I ended up wearing them yeah. And that's it. That's the finished makeup look. And my outfit is pretty plain because we're wearing red vests. We're not wearing white coats as in Serbia. So that's another difference in comparison to the Serbian pharmacy stores. In Serbian pharmacy stores, we wear white coats and here we're just wearing vests on top. So that's a uniform here. So to be honest, I'm not sure if that is the rule in all pharmacy stores in Germany, but
but here in the one that I'm working in, that's a uniform. So here, let me show you a bag that I'm wearing. The bag is cute, so I thought I might as well show you the bag. And I added this cute little heart-shaped pendant. And here I'm showing you my wash. This is the wash that my grandmother bought for me. So it is very dear to my heart because of that. And plus it matches the earrings because it has the same rose gold color. And that's it. Let me know how do you like these types of videos? Would you like me to film more? Leave a comment down below. And yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one.